you know, one thing that you see when you have an awakening is that it's only programming running. It's only, it's only programming running. And each human being runs a particular programming. And we are not that programming. We are, you know, the witness, the one that can actually observe the programming. Like if you sit down in meditation, and how Michael was saying, yeah, you can, he, he has been teaching people how to disengage in regular life to watch their thoughts and their actions. We can do that. And so when somebody has this enlightenment experience or this spiritual awakening experience, what is seen and recognized beyond the shadow of a doubt is that all human beings are is this emptiness, this there's the witness, but then beyond the witness there's then just emptiness. There's you know another space to get to. And then there's just the programs running, the thoughts the beliefs, the perceptional filters, the emotions, the feelings, they're part of the body structure that we inherit. Like, you know, from, from conception on, it's already pre-programmed how this body will respond. And it's really very much like a computer. Like, a, you know, the body, you could look at your body as a computer casing. And whatever the thoughts and the emotion that run is the software that you got, you know, plugged in. It's the it's it's inherent from conception on, and that's how human beings then live. And it's automatic, and it's robotic, and it's habitual, and to be. You know, meditation is th this wonderful tool that you learn how to separate out, that you become a witness to the thinking as you're sitting and, you know, eventually in life, how you talk to your spouse and your children and your boss and, you know, your fears and your, uh, all, of, all, of, all of your whole package deal through which you really, or, you know, life operates. So, what you were saying is this meaning of nothingness and nothingness, or the emptiness, or the no mind, or the knowing field, as it operates through these human beings, as it meets another emptiness, as it operates through a human being, it's like, can we actually see each other as that? And then, how do we operate then? Can we then, you know, assist in breaking down these programs that are inherited that you know we do this male female dynamic over and over and over again that it's not really working can we as nothingness or emptiness look through these programs and work with them so we help collapse them and then really meet each other as that through these bodies no longer no longer entangled to live out and play out these automatic so, you know, for me, coming back and do Constellation again after taking this seven-year high actus really is to assist people in that because when you stand in as a representative, you get a sense, who am I actually? If I can put all of me aside and suddenly I become another person, I suddenly think and feel and act like another person, then who, who actually am I? You start to recognize that however you act is the same as you just, the, the person that you just represented. And the more you, you, you step in for somebody else, the more your sense of self becomes more and more flimsy because you have a sense of fluidity of your own program structure to, you know, allowing somebody else's program structure to suddenly take hold in you.